Turn with me, please, in your Bibles to the book of Acts, chapter 10, verse 38. Acts, chapter 10, verse 38. The Bible says, Our God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. We are blessed by the reading of God's word. I want to share briefly a word and then we can take time to pray for people to receive their healing and miracles. Jesus name. So I want to just title this message, How to Receive Your Healing and Miracles. And this is part one. How to Receive Your Healing and Miracles. This is part one. God is still in the business of healing. God has not stopped healing. God is still in the business of doing Miracles is a miracle working God. And it's important for us every time we come before God, we come with expectation knowing that God wants to heal us. The greatest gift God ever gave to us is the gift of Jesus Christ. That's the greatest gift. That's the most expensive gift. So now, if God gave Jesus Christ to us, then there is nothing greater than Jesus that he cannot give. Are you following me? The greatest gift God gave us is who? Is Jesus Christ. He gave Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us. And since he did that, anything outside or anything that you ask God is below Christ and therefore it becomes very easy for him to give you. I'll give you an example. If you needed money and you came to me for a million pounds and I gave you 10 million pounds, now next time if you needed let's say 10 pounds, 10 pounds is less than 10 million pounds. So why would you think that giving you 10 pounds will be more difficult than giving you 10 million pounds? So Jesus Christ is in the highest category of gift that God ever gave us. That's the highest gift. And so anything that you ask after Jesus is below him. And so your healing is nothing to God. Your miracle is nothing to God. God can give it to you because he's given you the greatest gift. So the Bible says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. And he went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. For God was with him. So Notice that oppression doesn't come from God. Oppression and sicknesses and diseases does not come from God. It comes from the devil. And the reason for Jesus being anointed for us is to redeem us from the works of the devil. So God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power and he went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Notice, he healed all. He didn't heal some. Yeah. He healed all. all. And there's nothing he cannot do. And so today, you will be healed. Amen. I said today, you will be healed. Amen. Now, the question is, how do I receive my healing 
all my miracles. How do I receive it? Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5 and 6. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5 and 6. The Bible says, by faith. Notice key word, faith. By faith. Now, what is faith? Faith is simply taking God's word and believing it. That's what faith is. Faith is simply taking God by his word. Now, when you came to church this morning, you exercised faith. You sat on a chair. You didn't check whether the chair was going to break or not. That is faith. You had faith in the chair, that the chair could handle your weight. So that is natural faith. Now, God wants you to take that natural faith, like the way you believe that the chair could handle your weight, to take that same level of faith to a higher spiritual dimension and trust that God can heal you. Amen? Amen. That God can give you that miracle you're believing him for. He's not going to give it to you 10,000 years from now. He's going to give it to you now. So the Bible says that by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. Now, this is an impossibility. This is an impossibility. This is defying the natural laws that God has put in place. That before you go to heaven, you have to die. No flesh can access heaven. But the Bible says that by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. So that means when you have faith, faith can cause you to access realms of impossibilities. You can access anything that you want by faith. Because notice, by faith, Enoch did not see death. And yet he entered heaven. For Jesus to enter heaven, he had to die. But for Enoch to enter heaven, he did not die. Are you following what I'm saying? So, by faith, Enoch was taken away so he did not see death and was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he pleased God. So this is how to receive your healings and your miracles. Faith in God. Faith in God. Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus said, have faith in God. In other words, have the God kind of faith. Have faith in who? In God. Not faith in your man of God, because I'm just a human being just like you. I cannot heal you. I am not a healer. I am only a medium through which God is going to use. I am not the healer. The source of your healing is God. And so our faith is not in the man. Our faith is not in the messenger. Are you following me? Now if I give a parcel, a parcel to a, a royal mail to bring to your house, and Royal Mail delivers the parcel, your faith should not be in Royal Mail because Royal Mail was not the source of your parcel. The source of your parcel was the one who sent it. Are you following me? Now, the source of your miracle is God. The source of your healing is God. And so our faith must be in God. So Jesus said, have faith in who? God. Have faith in who? God. We have faith in, in God. And our faith must be solid. Why? Because it can only take faith to please God. And so back to Hebrews chapter 11, verse 5 and 6. The Bible says that by faith, Enoch was taken away so that he did not see death. And was not found because God had taken him. For before he was taken, he had this testimony that he what? He pleased God. Now let me show you what pleases God. Faith 
is what pleases God. Every time you have faith in God, you are pleasing God. So verse 6 of Hebrews chapter 11 tells us, it says, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. Now what testimony did Enoch have? A testimony of pleasing God. He had a testimony of pleasing God. And what's that testimony? What pleases God is faith. And so by faith, Enoch was taken out of this realm. He did not die. He entered into heaven without seeing death. The only man. The only man. The only man. When we get to heaven... We will not see Enoch as a spirit being. We'll see him both in flesh and spirit. Because Enoch is the only person that defied death. And so by faith, the Bible says that we please God. And so if faith caused Enoch to enter into realms of possibilities, the same can be done with you and I. The same can be done with you and I. The same can be done with you and I. Amen. I said the same can be done with you and I. Amen. And so that's why without faith, it is impossible to please God. Without faith, it's impossible to what? To please God. Now, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. And then we are ready to pray. Are you ready for your healings and miracles? Amen. I don't know about you, but I am expecting. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. The Bible says that since we have the same spirit of faith. What do we have? Same spirit of faith. What do we have? The same spirit so, of faith. That means the same spirit of faith that Enoch operated in, we have. You have. I have. Since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe. So to have access to your healing and miracles, you have to believe. If you don't believe... You can't have access. Are you following me? It says, since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe, therefore I spoke. We also believe, therefore we speak. So when the Bible says same faith, what does same mean? Same means same. Same means what? Same means what? Same. So the same miracles that the apostles of old were able to generate through faith, we can also generate it. Because we have the same spirit of faith. We have the same spirit of faith. If we are dry, if both of us are driving the same car, that travels at the same speed, has the same horsepower, has the same levels of speed, both of us can travel at the same speed at the same time. What your car can achieve, my car can achieve it. So the Bible says that since we have the same spirit of faith, according to what is written, I believe this is where most of the time many Christians' faith is tested. We don't believe. We believe that God can do it for someone, but we don't believe that he can do it for us. I believe, therefore have I spoken. We also believe, therefore we speak. And how does faith come? Faith comes by what? Faith comes by what? By Romans 10, 17. Therefore, faith comes by hearing 
and the continuous hearing of the word of God. Hallelujah. And so as the preaching is going on, faith is coming. And once faith comes, your healing comes. Amen. Once faith comes, your miracles come. And today, you'll receive your healing. Amen. Today, you'll receive your miracles. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Now, are you ready? I want you to remove your faith from man to God. Man is limited. That's why the Bible never said with man. It says, with God, all things are what? With who? With God. With God. Not with man. With God. And so, we are going to receive our healings and miracles with God. Amen? Now, before we pray and trust God for our healings and miracles, if you're here this morning or online, you're not born again. I'd like to pray for you. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your personal Savior, I'd like to pray for you. Every head bow, please. Every eye closed. You're here or watching online. You're not born again. You can receive the healing and miracles you are trusting God for if you are outside of the kingdom. And so if you are here or watching online, please say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Let's all say it together. Say with me, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I come to you just as I am. I come to you. Forgive me of my sins. Me. Write my name Write. in your book of life. Book of life. May I serve you. All the days of my life. From today, I have decided to follow you. No turning back in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, now why don't you just talk to God? Ask God for that healing or miracle you are trusting him for. Ask God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Talk to God. Ask God to give you that healing or miracle you are believing him for. Ask God to give you that healing or miracle you are believing him for. Jesus name Amen Let's rise up on our feet Now you're believing God for healing or miracles in any part of your body or for anything you are trusting God for please come forward please come forward I'm just going to agree with you in faith come forward stand here you are coming in faith. Remember, man is not the healer. God is the healer. Please remember that. God is the healer. 
whatever you are believing God for, God has actually already done it before you came. Please come, please come this way so that we can close the cup up. I am the Lord that he led me. Thank you, Lord. Receive your healing. 
speak to your heart. of your feet, I decree and declare you are totally made whole in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Receive the healing power of God in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you that you have healed your son in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this miracle. Thank you for this healing. Lord, give your daughter the testimony she's believing you for before the end of this year. Lord, we know you have done it already. We thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's done. It's done. Father, we speak healing. Supernatural healing. In the name of Jesus. From the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. We declare and declare he is healed. Jesus name. Amen. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Fresh, fresh healing grace. Fresh miracles. In Jesus' name, it is done. mouth and begin to thank God. Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the miracles. Thank you for what you have done. Thank you for the healings. Thank you for the miracles. Let's open our mouth and thank him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. And amen. Now, I want you to listen. One of the ways we maintain our healing and miracles is to maintain our confession. Whatever you came out here for today to be prayed for, you have to believe that you have received it and you have to maintain your confession. You have to maintain your what? Your confession. You don't speak negatively any longer. 
whatever you came believing God for, God has done it. And so you maintain your confession by saying, Lord, I thank you. Whatever I came to receive today, it is done. If it's a fruit of the womb, it is done. You have to keep confessing before the end of this year, I have my baby. If it's, if it's a negative doctor's report, you have to reject it and declare that you are healed. The next doctor's appointment you go to, that report will be changed. You have to maintain your confession. And that's the only way your healing and your miracle is maintained. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's give Jesus some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We've come to the end of our first service. We're going to go into the second service straight away. So let's share the grace.